You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. There's always a case of people who just don't get it, who literally don't get it. Uh, um, uh, Rob, uh, here's, that, here's this idiot Paris Denard. Uh, working for the Republican <laughs> National Committee on Fox News, literally disagreeing with the CDC. Here we go. Heard, when I heard this statement uh, from the CDC director, I was appalled because mm -hmm. instead of focusing on health disparities, which we should do because they're real and COVID highlighted those, the CDC is doing the bidding of the Biden administration by once again inserting race, racism, and calling people racist for no reason. That's the Democrat Biden Harris administration playbook. And they're doing this because they want to have the American people think that this nation is inherently racist or systemically racist, but it's not. And I think that all Americans should stand up and ask the question, if these districts, if these communities of color who have been represented by Democrats for so many years mm. are systemically racist, does that make the Democrats who are in control racist as well? I think the CDC should focus on the Communist Party of China. COVID-19 came over to this country and has infected the world, and they should be focused on that. That issue alone is why we have seen so many people die. Yes, disproportionately in the black community, but it's not the fault of racism. It's the fault of China. Focus on that. Stand up to China and stop calling everybody, everything and everywhere racist. It's wrong. This is what happens oh, when you are stuck on stupid, Rob. <laughs> Harris Denard is an utter idiot for what he just said, uh, and they love to uh, they love to prop up uh, these folks who are just dumb. The CDC, or oh, they're calling everyone racist. No, what they're saying is the racism that black people have to deal with on a daily basis has a direct <laughs> impact on the health of black people. Yeah, he knows. He, he knows what they're saying. Like, the only only point I have a, a disagreement is I don't think he's dumb. This is a dumbass statement he's making, and he's doing it so he can get. Because that look, you can have a black man make the statement. It's profitable to do so. That's the game that's being played. That's the game he's playing. But he's so disingenuous. There's just, just so much to just take apart in what he said. So, uh, and I, I could be on uh, another hour because it's just so much garbage. But let me just get to the basics. He starts off by saying they should focus on health disparities. How the hell do you focus on health disparities without acknowledging the fact that the disparities are there because of a, a racism? Racism is structural. So when he says, oh, well, are you saying Democrats are racist? The system is not individual. It is structural. It means it's built in over time. It's like a virus. Let me break it down for him. It mutates over time. And until you actually get it out and you isolate it, it will stay there. Uh, so, yes, uh, racism has been a part of America. It's not the only part of America. There are certainly good parts, but this is a part, if you want to improve America, you have to look at. You know, I'd never get conservatives when you say, like, oh, why are you so critical on America? Are you saying all America is racist? What I'm saying is if you actually love a country, I love the country. I want it to be better. You love your kids. Are you going to tell your kids they're great when they're doing things wrong? No, we need to improve. I don't know why this is hard to for him to— Put his puts actually put together. And the last part I want to get is he talks about not being racist and then says something racist. He says we need to blame it all on China. China is the reason why this happens. Knowing we have a rise in, in, in Asian hate right now, he adds that in. So he has to be the black man that throws in some racism at the end uh, just to do just to do the bidding of the Republican Party who wants to have this narrative that if you talk about racism, uh, that's bad. I want I want people, and I spe specifically want people on the right to get more offended by racism than they than they do about being called racist. Get mad about the racism. I can tell you, I'd rather be called a racist than go through racism. It is harder to go through racism, racism than to be called a racist. These people are so, they talk about cancel culture and people uh, uh, giving them a hard time and people not being tough enough and being snowflakes. They're snowflakes. Every time you call them out on stuff, they get offended and, and say, oh, why'd you say that? Like, hey, suck it up, buttercup. Beyond nuts. Uh, Michael, real quick. Well, we, we all know Paris Denard is a professional white behind kisser. That's his whole game. That's what pays his bills. We understand that. Um, but what I find interesting is that he doesn't want to address specifically what 
CDC Director Rochelle Walensky talked about. A growing body of research shows the centuries of racism in this country has had a profound and negative impact on communities of color. He doesn't want to deal with that research. And racism existed before the Republican Party was founded in 1854 and before the Democratic Party was founded in 1828. Racism existed in this country. It's a system of advantage and privilege distributed based upon races. And I'll wrap up with this. As Dr. Francis Cress Wilson and Nilly Fuller correctly taught us, if you do not understand European white supremacy and racism, what it is and how it works, everything else that you think that you understand will totally confuse you. So what Paris Denard is trying to do on behalf of his people, on behalf of the white people who pay him, is trying to distract and confuse us. So we can't go for that okie doke. Absolutely. Look who he worked for in the White House. All right, and, folks. And Trump, and Trump says systemic racism didn't exist. Got it. All right, folks. Back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.